everyone, I have a little bit of a different holiday craft for you guys. I'm not doing a card like I usually do. Instead, I'm showing you what I created for my neighbors as a neighbor gift for this holiday season. I saw this idea on Pinterest a couple different places, so I'm not entirely sure where the idea originated, but I thought it was so cute and adorable. It's a little six pack of root beer bottles, and there's a tag on the package that says Merry Christmas and a Happy Root Beer. And then you decorate the root beer bottles to look like reindeer, and one of them is Rudolph. I thought it was super cute. So I'm gonna show you how I created the reindeer root beer bottles, and let's get started. So here is what a finished one looks like, like this, and it's just got a little tag, and it says enjoy, and then my name or whatever. Now, my sister-in-law, we did these together, and she did these for coworker gifts, and then she was gonna give them a, like a little $5 gift card to an ice cream shop so they could do kind of like a river float. Um, I'm considering including like a gallon of ice cream or a pint of vanilla ice cream which with each of the six packs for my neighbors. Um, I'm not sure if I will or not because currently the price for the whole gift is around $3.50 to $4 per gift when you do the six pack. So I think that's the perfect amount for a neighbor gift. You don't wanna spend like a huge amount of money. So I thought that was a really good idea. And when you're doing the single bottles, it turns out to be something like a dollar, like a dollar, dollar fifty per reindeer bottle. So I thought it was just kind of cute, a good idea. So I'm gonna show you how I did the antlers. I posted on Instagram a picture of my reindeer fleet before I take them to my neighbors. And a bunch of you had questions about how I created the antlers. So I thought I would just answer those questions and show you guys exactly how I made them. Okay, so I have an empty bottle here so I can uh, show you a little bit easier. The first thing that I did was I took these little red pom-poms. These are half inch red pom-poms that we picked up at Joann's. Um, it was a dollar for a whole pack of 25. So super inexpensive. I laid them down on a work surface. In fact, I put a kitchen towel underneath them so it wouldn't roll around like it's rolling around right now. So um, I have some footage. I'm gonna just show you how they looked on the kitchen towel. Um, those are the finished ones, so that's where they uh, were while they were drying. But I just took a dab of Tombow Mono Multi Glue. You could also use Glossy Accent or a hot glue gun, whatever type of glue you want. And because this is being um, glued to a label, like a paper label, I didn't have to worry about using a glue that wouldn't come off of glass. So that was really fortunate. So I put the pom-pom on and it's not gonna stick. It's gonna have to dry for about five to 10 minutes. So that's when I laid out all of those bottles on top of a towel and the towel prevented them from rolling around. So after they were dry, I took a 12 inch pipe cleaner. I used white pipe cleaners. The examples I saw on Pinterest used brown or tan pipe cleaners, but when we went to buy them, it was last minute and they did not have any brown. So we decided to use white and I really like how it turned out. So use whatever color you'd like. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of deconstruct this so you can kind of see how it's put together. If I pull this out right here, you can see it kind of comes apart. That's kind of how we're gonna um, create the antler. So I'm gonna twist this off and I'll walk you through. So the first thing I did was I kind of bent it so I could find where the center was. And then I put that right around the neck of the bottle. Then I twisted it and then I gave it a little, one little twist right there and that just secures it to the bottle. Then I came down probably about half an inch and I used my fingernail to bend it. Let me zoom in so you guys can see this a little better. Okay, there we go. So I bent it with my fingernail and then I came down just a little ways, bent it back this direction, and then I pinched that so it became really tight so it looks like it's just part of the pipe cleaner. Kept to this next part straight and then I turned the bottle if I needed to <laughs> and used my finger to create another bend. And then my fingernail to bend that one back and I pinched that really well and then bent this one back so I'm going for like a straight line right across there and I want two little antler things right there. In fact, you can kind of bend them so they're not quite 90 degrees. So they can little, look a little bit more like antlers. All right, I'm gonna show you one more time over here. First, I'm gonna bend out this direction because I want it to come down. Then I'm gonna bend this back and I'll pinch that. Bend it up. Bend that one. Bend this one over. This one's gonna be a really tiny end on it. Pinch that and then pinch it up. 
So now I have little antlers for my reindeer. Ta-da! I think they look hilarious. I think they're so cute. They kind of just look like little reindeer and little Rudolphs. My sister-in-law, when she uh, took the individual bottles to her coworkers, all of them are Rudolphs, but to make it easier, if you're gonna do a six pack, I just did one Rudolph per six pack. So you can download this little tag over at my blog. It's a free download. You're gonna use the crop marks to cut out all of those and then fold them in half. So you can write a little message or you can just do it as one and just write it on the back. Um, I did punch a hole and then just wrapped it around with some baker's twine or some string. Super easy and quick. We did, let's see, I did five six packs and then we did 12 individual bottles and I think we did everything in about an hour and a half. So super fast and easy. Merry Christmas, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.